Pacific Union College has a new president. Hi, I'm Connie Vandeman Jeffrey, and this is All God's People. The Pacific Union College Board of Trustees announced on Monday that Dr. Ralph Tricartan has been named the school's 24th president. Dr. Tricartan is currently serving as Associate Provost of Cross Campus Collaborations and Dean of the School of Business Administration at Andrews University. He will officially assume his new role on July 1st. Welcome, Dr. Tricartan. The link to the official announcement is in our bulletin. There's nothing like a beautiful older lady to make me smile. This Mother's Day, dozens of people drove by the church in Chico, California to celebrate one woman's incredible life. Frances Cavanus Leyland, better known as Frankie, has lived in Chico for nearly 70 years. After traveling the world with her late husband as a missionary, she has seen and done a lot. But Tuesday, May 11, was a day not many people get to celebrate. Frankie turned 100 years old. It's exciting when you think about it, she beamed. 100 years. Action News Now was there to capture the smiles, laughter, and memories of one remarkable Adventist woman. Happy 100th birthday, Frankie. And just a short drive east of Chico, Paradise Adventist Academy celebrated a major victory. Like most children this past year, students at Paradise Adventist Academy have been learning in not so typical ways. But the pandemic wasn't the only reason why. The 2018 campfire made their campus unsafe and unusable. After extensive reconstruction and refurbishment of the academy, high school students from both this year and the next got a peek at what they'll return to next school year. And KRCR-TV was there. Stephen Hamilton, lead pastor at the Paradise Church, addressed over 50 returning students and staff in the courtyard located at the center of the campus. It gives me great pleasure to say to you as Paradise Adventist Academy students and staff, welcome home, he said. Students spent the day touring the upgraded facilities that have been in the works for two years. While classes will not be held here until August 2021, it was the first time the student body has physically been together since 2018. 390 of the church members and school constituents' houses burned in the campfire. So many of the students don't have their home to go back to. What's left of this campus and has been restored post-fire is really the only homeness that they have to come back to, Pastor Hamilton said. As a consequence of first the wildfires and then the coronavirus pandemic, high schoolers have not stepped foot on this campus for close to two and a half years. State and county COVID-19 guidelines allowed the elementary school to return to in-person teaching there in September 2020. As PAA Principal Monty Nystrom said, it's a new beginning. Registration is now open for the 2021-2022 school year. Check out the school's website. The link is in our bulletin. Memorial Day is a federal holiday observed yearly on the last Monday of May. Memorial Day is a day that commemorates all men and women who have died while serving in the military for the United States of America. Traditionally, it is viewed as a time of honor and remembrance. Throughout the United States, it's common to visit cemeteries, particularly military ones, and decorate graves of the deceased with flowers, small flags, and wreaths. The observance of Memorial Day in the United States dates back to the Civil War and focused on honoring the war dead of both the Union and the Confederacy by laying flowers of the springtime on the graves of those whose lives had been lost from both sides. The honors demonstrated on Memorial Day helped bring the divided country together. As we honor our heroes, may we also be mindful of the wounds that divide our country and should be healed. Jesus said, greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. A great verse for this Memorial Day weekend, 2021. For all God's people, I'm Connie Jeffrey.